look for love, no time for tears. Wasted water's all that is, and it don't make no flowers grow. Good things might come to those who wait, but not for those who wait too late. We gotta go for all we know. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. got the solar people here today to put on a 5.5 or 5.6 kW solar system those were the panels there here's the crew that's going to install it gonna put everything up on that roof there been told it should be enough to run our whole house during the day including the pool and the water filter system all right I'll give you some more updates later as things progress All right, um, it's been a while since I've done an update here. Uh, I think uh, I was looking at that yesterday. It says about 10 months. So we've done a few uh, other things to the house in the last 10 months besides uh, Juan going back to the US twice because the daughter had a grandchild. Um, and then they all came back here and spent three weeks. So just been living life a little bit. One of the things we've done is we extended the roof on the uh, carport area here to cover all the concrete. Wife's got lots of plants growing. So we covered all of this. It's a big L shape. Gives us a lot more shade. Uh, bought some outside furniture. Got us a little bamboo sala that we use. Uh, had a water pad built. This has got uh, an outside shower here. But behind here is where my water tank is. It holds the water that comes up out of my well. Um, put the green stuff up. It's to uh, shade the tank so the water doesn't get so hot. Another thing that we did is when those guys came to put in my water tank pad. Um, the wife has a lot of family that lives in the village. And it seems like they're almost always here. So... She doesn't want them tromping in and out of the house so she had them guys build us an outside bathroom basically it's just a thai style bathroom with a decent pool in the sink they've been growing stuff on the back part of our property here he's got vegetables growing all down this side some kind of wild grass for their buffalo or pigs or something um, I think in the last video there wasn't any grass or weeds growing here so we have that going on now I was wondering um, where I could find some grass seed I'd been looking for some online and wasn't having much luck and then rainy season started and this stuff sprouted up out of nowhere uh, there is some grass but it's mostly weeds I had to go buy a lawnmower to take care of that I'll give you a full walk around the property here Back to the front. Um, I'm going to give you a complete breakdown on what we spent for this place and what we've spent on these add-ons. Um, just to kind of give you an idea. Because we've had to buy... The only thing we came here with was basically our clothes. And we shipped over some... My wife shipped over pots and pans and dishes and sheets and blankets and things of that nature. Um, but not very many breakables or big household items because the electricity is different um, I don't know if I showed you all of this completed we have our washer and our dryer pure water tank the water filtration system had a few hiccups with that but we got it working pretty good 
and then the pool system um, no issues with that all right so um, let me get my notes which are on my phone inside the house and then I'll uh, give you a breakdown on what we spent here all right I thought I'd uh, show you some of the inside while I go in here and look from my phone uh, the outside kitchen that Juan uses to cook all our stinky Thai food works really well pretty much my kitchen but she does most of the cooking I'll give her that I do a little bit microwave oven we've used that a few times refrigerator um, we don't have all our furniture purchased yet I'm still looking for something to create a desk area and a personal space over here but I do have my racing rig up and I've been using that quite frequently living room um, I think I did this furniture in another video but uh, this is where I spend time watching TV and then this is the master bedroom in here and the master bathroom my wet swim trunks more down there we do have a nice shower system here I'm really uh there's a hot water system up in the ceiling endless hot water here it's really good I like that all right let me look for my phone and I'll be right back all right found a spot inside here where it's cooler uh, so here's my notes on what we spent on just building the house the appliances I'll go over all of these items here so the house came in at 2.3 million baht um, that's just for the house not including the swim pool the pool the extra concrete around the house the pebble creek area around the pool that I wanted um, that was an additional 800,000 the pool by itself was 500,000 baht and that included a meter of concrete around the outside um, I wanted two, at least two so I, I went uh, additional concrete around there and then instead of just being concrete or and then adding tiles to that um, I, I went with the Pebble Creek because I really like that um, when you get a price for a house that does not include any of your appliances so for the refrigerator the stove the oven the microwave uh, that was a, an additional 150,000 baht um, to wall in our lot here which we own two ride but we only walled in about one and a three quarters maybe there's still a back there where I showed you where my in-laws are growing vegetables along with the wife um, that's our property back there too and our land extends out that way a little bit into that pond so when they built the pond a long time ago only one family member owned all the land and then it was divvied up our property line actually goes another two and a half three meters in that direction and over time I'll fill that in and do a wall on that side but for now I'll just leave things as they are um, the pump house that was not included in the 2.3 million baht so I had them build that and the purchase of the water filtration system that came in at 200,000 um, I had to pay to get the electricity here from the street because this was as most of you know it's off the street a little bit um, so I had to buy three originally I bought three no four of the big concrete electric poles that they use here and all the wiring to get the electricity here uh, that was 75,000 baht um, to extend the carport roof that was an additional 90,000 baht and then um, the outside bathroom the shower for the pool area and the water tank pad um, that cost me 45,000 baht so all of that comes to 3.96 million baht um, then I also spent money on fixing the road with gravel additional dirt tractor costs uh, we had to buy beds, TVs, dressers, wardrobe, couch, recliner, outdoor furniture, window blinds, the bamboo sala, and other things we needed for the house. That came to another 900,000 baht. So 
So that brings me up to 4.86 million baht, um, which based on the exchange rate that I got when I was building this place, I kind of got lucky when I was here. Uh, the bot was hovering between 37 and 38. So a lot of the money I brought in came in at that exchange rate. Uh, so that computes to about $132,000 US. And then I just spent uh, another 158,000 baht, approximately $4,500 to have the uh, solar system installed. Um, just to kind of give you an idea here, my electric bill, uh, the two months prior to the um, solar coming online uh, were probably the two highest months since I've been here. Uh, granted, I didn't have the pool running all the time, the water filtration system, the air cons and all of that going. But when all of that was running, my electric bill here was somewhere between 10 and 11,000 baht. Um, so I started looking into solar, um, and I can, I've actually knocked about 40% off my bill. So my last couple of bills have been under 6,000 baht. Um, I've had family members here for three weeks, uh, which means additional air cons, um, you know, more laundry, more everything. Um, and that one was only 4,300 baht. So um, it may have knocked it down more than 40%, but I'm very happy with the results I'm getting from the solar. Even when it's cloudy and raining, I'm still covering a good portion of my usage during the day. Um, I figured out my return on investment on that's gonna be less than four years based on um, what I've seen on my electric bill so far. Um, but that's kind of a, a breakdown of what we spent. Um, you has gotta keep all those things in mind when you're um, budgeting to build a house here in Thailand, unless you're gonna ship a lot of things over from your own country. Um, I just thought it would be more feasible for me to sell everything I had over there and buy new and start over here. So it's worked out well. Um, I hope to be doing some more videos. Um, I'll keep you updated on the landscaping as it goes. We've got some other ideas that we want to do in the backyard. Um, and my wife wants to do some gardening, serious gardening on the other side there, I think. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, learning about my house experience here. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment or uh, shoot me an email. My email is in the uh, about section on my YouTube channel. Um, see you in the next one.